USC and the LA County Medical Center together really comprise probably one of the best training environments that I can think of. And I think the reason is because there's different patient populations between the two sides. There's also different resources, but at the same time, a real commitment from the same group of people because the academic faculty at USC are cross-appointed to LAC and vice versa. So what it does, it gives our trainees across the board incredible opportunities to see patients in a setting that's different, but within the same roof. The University of Southern California has been the academic institution associated with LAC USC, the general hospital for the county of Los Angeles since 1885. And so that means that not just with ophthalmology, but with other subspecialties, the support and the academic uh, support is there for that hospital. And that has been true for ophthalmology as well. We were recently granted an increase in our resident complement by the ACGME. And it's a real honor to be able to train six residents, but now we can actually train seven per year. We haven't actually increased our resident complement in over 30 years. In 1985 was the last time we'd gone from five residents to six residents per year. And now that we've grown so much, it just made a lot of sense to be able to grow and to be able to avail the opportunities that we have. So now we're able to actually have seven per year, which makes us one of the largest programs in the country. The depth and the breadth of the sort of pathology that we see at County is unparalleled anywhere in the country. We have traumas that come in pretty regularly. We also see very end-stage disease. It's the perfect environment to learn and train and uh, be under the, the amazing faculty that we also have here. A mark of a good residency program is having diversity of training. So you don't want to just learn from one group of people. You want to learn from a, a large group of people. You want to learn different styles. You want to see different things in different patient populations, elderly, young, everyone in between. Our residents joke when they go to other places that the residents say, oh, if I see one case of this in the next three years, I'll be lucky. And they say, I, I saw three cases of this yesterday. One of the cases that I was uh, part of is, uh, as a faculty member was a, a taser case. So a uh, patient had managed to somehow be tasered in his eye uh, and so we had to basically first primarily repair the globe by removing the, the taser metallic piece that was in the eye. We closed the eye and then we had to do a retinal procedure two or three weeks later. The patient actually had a great outcome but that's just an example of the kind of pathology that we see there. One of the things you need in a residency program is not only good people and a, and a great program and diversity, but you also need infrastructure, you need facilities. And since the new county opened up, this huge, amazing facility, inpatient and outpatient, in 2008, really our residents at county are working in a, in a, in a world-class, state-of-the-art um, environment. And I think that's really good because you want them to learn the best techniques in the best environment, be flexible at the same time, also not have to compromise the quality of their training in any way. It's just so much to learn at the county hospital as well as here in our private clinics at the Roski Eye Institute. So for learning purposes, it really is the best place to be. Really having access to that hospital and that medical center and that patient population, which also happens to be the most generous and grateful and loving group of patients you could imagine, is a really key component for our education.